It's called OMG, a cyberbullying play. It opens this weekend at the Milton Road Center for the Arts in Winston-Salem. This is a 75-minute production of the teen theater ensemble of the North Carolina Black Repertory Company. I'm a digital diva star. In my new life, I will go far. OMG, a cyberbullying play, is a cautionary tale. A look at what can happen when a teenager reaching for attention gets tangled in the online world. A story told primarily by young people. I've never really been in a show that like attacks problems, you know? So this is a really good experience. When I was growing up, there was no online, and now a kid 13 years old, you know, you type something and it's out there forever. Everything is exaggerated when you're that age anyway. So when the whole world is coming at you and saying you're an awful person or something's wrong with you, how do you deal with that? How do parents deal with that? You don't get it. The hate that goes on when you read the comments. The main character in the play, Crystal, is left feeling hopeless after vicious online attacks. This is a play, but the storyline is very real. How many of you know someone who has been a victim of cyberbullying? Oh, um, yeah. I know one person that um, went to um, another middle school. He had committed suicide because he was getting cyberbullied. So that just kind of made me feel. And so that kind of underscores the importance of yeah, this production. Yeah, it really does. Too. Mia was in seventh grade when she became a target. People would like literally like comment or text me like directly and tell me like all these mean things. Like they'll say comment about my weight, comment about how I look, my height, everything. I would talk to my mom about it and she's very supportive and she like helped me get out of that like depressed state because it made me very depressed. I was very sad. While there is drama in the production, there's also comedy, including a certain video the actors made. The video is Fartman and Booger Boy Jones, to give you an idea what? of the video. <laughs> it's the adventures of Fartman and Booger Boy Jones, and they found it hilarious. The actors say their hope is to inspire their peers to learn more about the dangers of cyberbullying and how to prevent it. They're also learning a few things themselves. I think it's an interesting production. I like the meaning it has behind it. I like how at the end what happens. I just like the progress and everything, like the characters as they go, like I like how they develop. This is my very first time doing a production in a black box. So you're kind of in the audience spaces rather than them just looking up at you. But um, I'm really excited, really excited. And all of the teen actors are veterans, but as you heard, this play offers new opportunities for them and also for the director. Jackie Alexander has been in theater for 27 years, 16 as a director, but he says this is the first time he has worked with a cast primarily of teens. He says he was a little concerned going into it, but he says that they have been absolutely amazing. They really want to learn, they love theater, and they really want to get this very important story yeah. across. I can imagine this is something that maybe a lot of families would want to see together. And I oh, understand yes. it comes out on Friday, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it would be perfect for families. Uh, and you have four opportunities to see this play at the Milton Road Center for the Arts on Spruce Street in Winston-Salem. For ticket information, just go to ncblackrep.org.